You know, in the beginning of this series, we called Cranberry County a small town full of people that have big dreams. Today, we are fulfilling the big dreams of that small town, and we are adding a transportation network in Cranberry County. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Cranberry County City Skyline Series from yours truly. Today, we are jumping back in to the city. We're starting off in the town of University City, and we are building our highly anticipated transportation network. Yay! Boom, 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 boom. Okay, so really quick, if you didn't know, and if you're a new person around here, first off, let me know what you think down below. And YouTube loves that like button, y'all loves the like button so make sure you like engage in the comment section down below let me know where you're from where you're watching from and okay let's get into it if you didn't know back in the university episodes probably an episode the, the, the early 20s uh we created just like a light bus route for the university and we called the transportation network express so we have adapted that name and expanded on it. And I've gone ahead and created some custom buses, some custom signs and custom sections on the map to facilitate today's episode. So again, today we are dialing in our bus network all across Cranberry County. This is the branding for it. It's called Express, 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 Express. So Cranberry County Transportation Authority and the branding is Express. This is a transfer station, like a bus terminal transfer station. And that's the go today. So what I did is I built a bunch of these transfer stations all across the map here. So you have one here, you have one in the back here for the main street in the city of Troy or the town of Troy. You have one right here for the Overland Heights and Overland Valley Ranch. And then the last one right here for the Speedway District. This will probably have the least amount of bus routes. Um, we'll have a bus route that goes over to the airport and then maybe one that goes to uh, Gannett and definitely one that tr that travels down to the Cranberry Oil Company. So let's start off with the different bus uh, liveries and bus models that we're using. OK, so the first option that we're going to roll with is this bus right here. And it's a small bus, right? So when you think about Cranberry County, you have the, the University City mostly, right? The biggest district in Cranberry County, and that's more of a college city. And so you would have these little small buses because you just don't have the capacity for it out everywhere except for University City and the college town. So this will probably be used in things like the uh, the Raceway District, uh, Overland uh, Valley Ranch, places like that. And we'll utilize more bigger buses to go from transfer station to transfer station. Now, I am a total noob. I am not a city planner. So if this is totally off base, let me know down below in the comment section. I know that there is a lot of city planners that play this game as of recently, as the last few years. So that's our first bus right there. The second bus is this guy right here. So this is our flagship hybrid bus, has the express branding all over it. You have that classic iconic red, white, and blue. Gotta love it. Has the awesome hybrid logo there. And then, yeah, pretty simple livery. I like how it fades in. But this one says Cran University, even though we'll use it all across the uh, the state here, the city of Cranberry County. I don't know if it's city or state. We've had that argument before, but we'll utilize this all across the region here. And I'll go back and add uh, different variant types. And I'll show right now, I'm working on a model, uh, 3D model, so we can, or actually a 3D texture, so we can change out um, Cran University and just it could just say Cranberry County. So somebody needs to come out with a mod, man. That'd be really cool if we had a mod that changed the bus like destination. So the last but not least, an option that we could use is this guy right here. And this is just a basic livery, electric bus. And we might use, I don't know, this bus is super big, right? Like 
I don't really think we need a bus this big. We could though. So I do want to keep it in my arsenal. I have a whole bunch of cool buses that we'll eventually dial in and use every single place. Okay, so let's get into it today. Uh, we're gonna start over in the University City area. And again, all the buses. So those big buses will be used from transfer station to transfer station with the exception of University City. University City is the biggest district in Cranberry County by far, by capita, by by income, everything, right? You have the college, which probably, and if this was like normal life, this college might have like 15 to 20,000 students, still relatively small in terms of a college town, but still pretty large. And then you have the surrounding area that might have around 20 to 30,000 people. So you need a robust bus network, maybe even more, maybe 50 to 60,000 people. So we need a robust um, uh, transportation and a bus network to surround the area. So really quick, University City is broken up into two spots. You have University City East, University City West. What divides them is this main road here, which is University City Boulevard, I believe that's what it's called, yep. University City Boulevard. So University City Boulevard splits up these two districts. On the west side, you have the west campus. On the east side, you have the central and the main campus. This is the original campus. Uh, this is the addition. If you don't know that, make sure you go back and watch those episodes. So I'm thinking we'll do one bus lane or one bus route for both, and then we'll do a university specific bus route that will mainly focus on the campus. So let's get started. Okay, so first route that we have, we're gonna start off here at the transfer station. Uh, so let's go inner lane, boom. So it'll go out and then we'll go right away. First stop will be, so the main street's right there, right? So maybe we give it access. Ah, what's the best coverage? I think we might, we might come back that way. I don't know, maybe not, but maybe. So let's go this back route. Let's make the first stop here so we can get some coverage there. It's gonna make me do another stop like right here, isn't it? I like that. Boom. And then we can hit this uh, this uh, this uh, baseball field here. So let's get another stop here. Maybe another stop here. Cool, I like that and then maybe circle around back by the central campus and then boom. That's some pretty good coverage. I like I like how that turned out. No, do not go in there. Why are you going in there, bro? Gonna make me create a stoplight. Yeah, it's gonna make me go in this back route. Whatever, that's fine. Give coverage to those houses right there. This is a pretty big road here. So let's let's go back up this way. And then we'll end the route here. Boom. So that's the first official route in Cranberry County. We'll call it University. I think it's East. Make sure that route is white. And then we're gonna select types. We're gonna just do the Cranberry County, uh, Cranberry University. Livery University bus. And then we can do a budget control. Let's see how many it spawns for budget control. 15, Lord. Okay, it must need 15 buses. That's a lot, man. Let's see where our budget's at for 15 buses. Okay, so that is University City East. Now we create the westbound. Boom, come in. And it'll actually go back behind. Ah, eh, we can. Yeah, let's go this main street here. Let's get a stop over by this park here. Okay, so this is like the main main retail area. So I kind of want to hit a spot over here. And it's making me do something weird. Which is fine. Like it's that's fine, but I want to. I guess I got to put a stop here to put a stop here. Cool. And then we'll actually follow this street down. It's making me do something weird again. 
Okay, we got rid of that stop, so we'll try to stop being weird right there. Okay, let's go behind here. So we got pretty much these two areas covered. The university bus will cover some of that over there. Let's go down to this side. And then let's do a big old circle. So actually, let's go this way. Let's hit this law building. It's the law building here. More of the campus here. Doing some crazy stuff. Come on. Come on, bus routes. You guys, man, if you play City Skylines, you know what's up. They're going to make the most awkward turn right there. But hey, do as you want to do. Cool. So we'll actually loop back around here. So we'll take a loop there and then we'll backtrack. I like my bus routes doing that. I know that might seem weird, but I like like end of the line type bus routes. Instead of doing like a random, it goes in a circle and ends up the same spot. I like the same route to have the same lines of traffic, but mirrored. Okay, so I have an oversight here. We need definitely need one right here because this is the big stadium district. So we'll come back and make sure we get that. Cool. Okay, so this is the number two, University City East. I think it's east, right? West. Make that line color white. Select vehicle types. Gonna make sure that is Cranberry County University bus. Okay, let's see how many it adds to it with the budget control. Oh, just one? <laughs> okay there you go oh 29 buses are you kidding me see that's the problem with this i'm i'm gonna go ahead and turn that off because the target gap is too small okay we tried to make it it just it just got it by two because the issue that we're gonna have is you're just gonna have a bunch of buses lined up next to each other Okay, so hopefully that works. Let's continue on. That target group is going up, up, up. So hopefully that doesn't mess up our traffic too, too much. Okay, so our coverage is pretty good, right? The white is where the buses is and the buses are, and we're missing kind of a big gap right in the middle here. So we're gonna call this just the plain university bus. And this bus will just service the university as a whole. Let's create a new line. It can share a stop here. And then this is gonna hit all down Main Street here. Don't do that. <laughs> so do a few every every few blocks here. And then actually let's go inside of the college here. So boom. Get another stop here. Have it loop back around. out on the return we might not have it go in there hits all this right here it probably needs to come down here and we can link up with this route here come back up actually no let's continue it let's continue it down the central campus So it kind of links up with this route here, comes around this way. Comes down here, makes a turn. You have access to the uh, university center there. Comes on this back road here and goes back home. Boom, so we kind of cover every aspect the only thing this route probably needs to go inside of here somehow. So yeah, it needs to go inside of here. Boom. Okay, let me pause it real quick. Let's remove the vehicle. Okay, now I have a decision to make on this one specifically. Oh no, never mind. The decision's made for me already. There's already so many people on this bus line. There's already a bunch of people on here. So let's select type, but I mean like let's not even waste time. There's that many people on here. That's funny. And these buses are small. They only have 30 capacity. I thought these had at least 60. So that one has 20. 
So the ones we've been using, these University Express buses only have, I mean, they have 10 more. Like seriously, only 10 more. All right, we're gonna do budget control. 33 buses, y'all. University loop. So this one's funny, cause this one's gonna be the true depiction of the university bus. I wonder where, okay, let's slow down some traffic a little bit. Cause I wonder where this bad boy will like pop out at. Ooh, we're gonna do some videos too. Make sure you guys stay tuned on the channel. Cause I don't know, not maybe next episode, we'll just ride the buses all the way down through. That'd be kind of fun. All right, let's speed this up just a little bit. That'd be fun. Look at the perspective right now that you get of University City though. Doesn't it look crazy? Getting the most in, most dense. Okay, see, that's the problem with these buses though. Cause now we just have the bus army of all these buses coming out at the same time. And that's kind of one of my fears is you just got a bunch of buses that's lined up after each other. See all those buses coming down? And so you spawn 30 buses at one time you're gonna have some issues. So it looks like this starts at the bottom of the route, which is cool. Yeah, look, see all three of these are the same route. So that's horrible. That is horrible. Okay, that bus stays, that's good. It actually does stay. So that's, that's, that makes me happy. Cause these can like, see, yeah, there's no, there's no other bus around. This bus is cooking it right now. Cool. So there's, there's a lot of demand for it, right? Like there's not an absence of demand. So that's good. Oh yeah, look at that. So you're gonna need a bunch of buses and we might actually need to do some bigger buses. So that's cool. Maybe like a part two next episode, we update the buses. What do you guys think? Let me know if you like this so far. Cause we could do like a part two and just go nuts and update the buses. And also let me know down below, obviously we've only done one route, but let me know down below what buses and other transportation districts or networks you can see in Cranberry County. Cause I don't know. I mean, I don't, I'm not sure. Like I'm not sold on there being like a bunch of them, but there could be, I don't know. You guys let me know down below. Oh, that's the weirdest spot ever for a, a bus stop, <laughs> but it's super convenient. So maybe we get rid of the uh, parking specifically right there. Yes. Yeah, it's a decent bus route. It's being utilized quite a bit. Look at that. So you got some fans going over to the stadium, even though they could have got off a little bit later down the road. That's cool, man. You got buses just permeating all through Cranberry County. There goes the stadium there. Got a bunch of cars, you know. <laughs> yeah, here's your stadium parking. I kind of want to see what happens when we get to the transfer center. Cause this actually, this actually turns around. Okay. So here's one of the, the unbunchings. Okay. Let's see. So this is express one. All right. University loop. Okay, cool. So they're totally different lines. That makes me feel a lot better that those are totally different lines. So All right, let's continue. I think this bus route loops around. Yeah. We just need bigger buses. Maybe I can increase the capacity on these bad boys too. That's also an option because I have the mod advanced vehicle options and we can go ahead and bump these guys up. I mean, realistically, I think you could probably fit. I mean, 30 is a lot of people. Woo, did you guys see that? That was kind of weird. 30 is <laughs> a lot of people. So maybe we can fit like, I don't know, 40, 50, maybe increase it to 60. Okay, we had one quick oversight that I just caught, but it actually works out pretty well. So the University West, so this side has an actual, it actually has a smaller bus and it's actually working out pretty well. And I think I'm gonna keep it that way. So you have these, these smaller like express buses on the University West. So I like it, we're keeping it that way. We're gonna move on to the next district. I have this really cool like old school trolley asset that we're gonna utilize. And that's gonna go up and down Main Street and down uh, both of these. So it's gonna be like a cool trolley bus. Let's dial that route in right now. Okay, so here is the transfer station over in the Troy District, AKA the Main Street. And okay, so let's dial in. Let's get the simulation pause really quick. And first bus line here, it's gonna have the stupid amount of stops up and down this road. 
And so you can see the red is where the highest concentrated amount of people are. And that's really because I was doing some tricks here. So I put, I like put a bunch of buildings in here <laughs> just to make it look super populous. So that's why you have a bunch of red in those buildings. Um, cool like that. We'll have a stop at the municipal center. Boom. Just stop probably every block or so. We'll get some food if you want it to. And then we'll have it loop around. Dang, that sucks. That's a long loop. <laughs> oh man, that's a pretty long loop. Maybe we should do it before here so they can loop around in the, uh, there we go. They can loop around that parking lot there. Yeah, that works better. I was like, that would suck to go all the way down there. Boom. 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 Ha boom. So do we go down here? Yeah, we do. Let's go down here. Boom. 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 Yeah. Turns around there. Ooh, boom. I like that. I, man, that's kind of jankity. That's kind of jankity just because it's not an actual turn on turn around. Goes down one one street. Oh. All right, comes back on the return. Boom. Goes back in the roundabout here. Boom. Boom. Hit that in and out. Love it. Then back. Boom. So technically, this would be just trolley. Comes from University City Garage. So let's go see what they look like. I'm eager to show y'all. So that's what the trolley buses look like. Let's see if we can change the color on this. I like it, but I'd rather have like a black one. Yeah, I can. Okay, I'm thinking like a gold. Looks good, looks good. I think that's gonna add a lot to the aesthetic of that main street having like an actual trolley bus. Cause it was simulated trolley, looks really good. Okay, trolley bus is here in town. First one to ride. This thing is booking it, isn't it? Going so fast. It's whipping it. Whip, whip, whip. Oh, dang. All, all, gang, gang, gang. All the trolley buses are here. <laughs> Jeez Louise. All the trolley buses showed up. <laughs> There's going to be more traffic of trolley buses than anything else. All right, let's see. Let me get a little glimpse of what this looks like here. So let's see how that trolley bus looks. Look at that. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. I'm sold. I think maybe doing a different color. We might choose. Let me know down below what color we should make this trolley bus. But I like it. I like the overall aesthetic of it. It sucks because you kind of want it like in the middle of the road, right? And so you still get that, that trolley-like feel. So that was the goal for this main street. Awesome. Okay, let's continue down. We need to dial in the bus network. So I think we're going to do. We'll probably do a main bus, just a main bus around here. Maybe a smaller bus for up here and then a main bus here. And then a main bus for the industry district. So let's do that. And then we can remodel this area here to get rid of some of that. OK, so the main bus will probably come down. Hmm. Because it doesn't really need any stops. And I'd rather not have it clutter up that. So I actually like how this is kind of going with us. Let's go down the front side. Because you can take the trolley bus to go down the middle. And let's add access to this school over here. The high school and the, the middle school. Have it go in this neighborhood here. Kind of just outlining everything. Cool, have it return. Okay, so that is bus line 11. Technically, I think where were we at in our bus overview? So bus line four will be the Troy district. I think, let's see what our budget looks like. Actually, let me see this. Let me see how many people have the desire to utilize these stops, if any. Yeah, we already don't have anybody. Let's see if we just add one of the express buses. Okay, we added one bus to C. Not a lot of traction on that. So 
what we'll do there goes some it's starting to get some not enough to have a big bus route on here like one of those big buses so we'll do a budget control let's see how many it adds it adds 19. jeez louise okay so that's my that's my problem right because there's not even 19 demand for that so we're gonna go ahead and add like five maybe nine let's cut cut it by 10. i'm like i can see it there's not a demand for 19 different jeez louise okay the next one will be for the troy district boom and then we will i don't know maybe it goes on the highway why not that's what makes it tricky though no because you can get up here yep you can get up there let's go this way go this way and let's just go up and down here because a lot of people work down here so this is this will give it good access for you to get to work on the bus kind of do the outers here looks like we have most everything covered do we double back yeah well, let's double back i probably gotta pop one like right here maybe for the people in this this district here they kind of don't get get touched but i mean if we put another if we put a stop we put that stop here so those people can walk over that way and hopefully it returns back on the highway so this is the 05 troy industry we get the small uh small bus for that as well it's express bus let's put 10. i think we did nine for you though maybe nine nine works let's do nine again it's these districts are so small y'all like it's not like it's not like the big city so it's i'm trying to like fight my urge to do a bunch of like big buses because honestly they just don't need them Okay, so we have this area, and then we'll eventually add this area because this area is gonna grow. So I won't do that just yet, but we'll add that area for sure. I, hmm. I think we can add a bus that would take care of this area. This would take care of a big thing. Okay, let's do this. Let's add, let's put another bus route here. And then we're gonna go all the way. I don't even care what way it takes. We're just gonna put it here. They can walk, man. Like they could literally walk. Boom. So boom and boom are the two spots. Someone can literally drive them there. And that will be the Belmont bus. Okay. We're at what six? So this line going, I'm gonna put what two? Maybe, maybe. <laughs> There's no way I'm putting more than three buses on here because ain't nobody using that. And if they do, cool, but I doubt it. Let's see, let's unpause. I'm gonna put three on there. I doubt we'll get one, y'all. Yeah, look at that. Four stops. Let's even remove one. There's two vehicles on that route. Cool. Cool. Awesome. So that I think does it for all of Troy. So we have the Main Street bus. We have uh, the Troy proper and then Troy Industries has a loop. This will come after and then we have Belmont taken care of. So I don't have to do a big loop bus all the way out there. That can be serviced by this specific transfer center. Love it. Okay. This transfer center is too big. Too big, too big. It needs to be like half of this size, right? It's probably gonna be like two lanes. So we'll redo these transfer centers. I just copied and pasted it, but we're gonna half this size. I could already see it. Like I don't need anything over here. Barely, barely need anything for this area. Maybe when it grows, but you barely need anything. First route will just be in the Heights. It'd be a local route. So let's get one right there at the clubhouse. Let's take the outer rim here and just pop a bunch. Boom. On the return, get another stop at the clubhouse. That's all she wrote. I mean, let's see. I'm curious to see how much the budget control will be so I can delete it. Seven. Even seven seems a lot. Let's do like five. Same thing on the return, so it'll be bus route number eight. 
bus route number eight will go let's actually have a little connection point right there i love where this stop is right here so let's boom boom goes all the way in overland valley ranch let's actually take this way so we'll go here up boom hit the high school we'll actually have this bad way double back i don't like how you did that i don't like how you did that yeah go back this way that way you have a lot more coverage coming back we out you getting out of here boom right there boom curious to see curious to see guess right now how many how many they would actually uh put out oh why are we spawning stuff in the <laughs> the racetrack uh let's see how many they actually will spawn out select our vehicle type remove the first one university express let's see budget control 21 yeah right we can do 10 <laughs> let's see, let's leave it at 12 i'm cutting i'm slashing all that budget in half man we do not need 21 we have one more area and this area is going to be very tricky so we got a bunch of places to hit with this right we need to get over to gannett we have a little small route to gannett we'll have a small route to the uh prison and then we'll have a small right route to cranberry oil company so this is actually a pretty pivotal transfer station and then we'll do our big transfer like bus route we'll actually do probably two two transfer bus routes and then we're good to go y'all that will end the episode so thank you guys so much again for watching so so far this stuff i'm nerding out man and i know you guys like this too this was one of my biggest cranberry county episodes or our palm island episodes i know y'all love this okay so the first one we're gonna do is let's go over to the state prison we're just gonna get a little route right there right in the gates come back out this way boom that's it y'all that's it all right so with the prison bus uh we're gonna do the express buses as always i love these little express buses add two let's add two that's it <laughs> i can't see it being more used i'm just curious y'all curious like i'm curious who's all curious just guess it right now guess how many vehicles is gonna spawn three two one let's see 39 y'all 39 why why 39 buses that makes no that makes no sense i'll give them three 39 buses there's not one soul at any of these places not one <laughs> all right bus route number 10. this bus route will go over to the cranberry oil company via the toll road and here's the main office so let's hit it there and then maybe we hit down in this like warehouse district, have it come back and then boom. It's not that far either. It's actually a pretty good route. Candy Oil Company, make sure it's white. People are like, if you're wondering why I'm at making it white, it's because these all have line colors on them. So you can utilize these lines with different colors. I don't like doing that just because I like create my own liveries and things like that. So that's why I design Condi uses line colors okay let's get this other bus down into so many choices let's vet let's vote 30s 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 36 y'all are smoking they are literally smoking y'all they want 36 long that this one might be a little bit longer i might do 10 on here okay uh, another small route and this is be the, the more local route this route's interesting because it's gonna hit all this over here so boom, I don't really need to go on the, the district. So you can walk if you're, if you need to go in there, get the outer part. If I do another, eh, let's just stop here. They can walk and then this goes around. Let's just go around, hit the speedway. We'll go in here and we'll loop back around. Done. Come on city skylines. Okay. Bus route 11. This would be Speedway District. Speedway District. Go white. Remove. Select. I'm, I got this down, y'all. Make sure the right depot is ready. Make sure we get our right bussies on her. 
Um, don't miss it. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. Cranberry Express. Boom, boom. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Who's guessed? Who's guessed? 30s? 18. Okay. See, that don't make no sense. How does this have less? I don't get how this has less, but I don't ask questions anymore. We'll do 10 on this route. Okay. So that completes it, right? That's it. That's it. Oh, no. We need Gannett. We need Gannett. We need one more. How many slots do I have over here? I got plenty. Plenty and room for expansion. Gannett, I don't care how it gets over here. Boom. Go down this street. Boom. Come back. Baby, come back. Come back. Cool. Back to the transfer station. It'll be 11. Bus route 11. Uh, maybe two vehicles on that one. Uh, I'm not even going to do budget control. We already know it's going to be insane, y'all. We've, we've, it's been proven that it's going to be insane. So why do I keep getting shocked when they put 30 of them? Okay, we just got to see. We just got to see. I get, I just got to. I mean, I got to see how ridiculous it is. If you watch this long, you got to see how ridiculous it is, too. 34. <laughs> Come on. Come on. 34. Four, this, we have what? 30 people per bu bus, 20 people per bus. And how much is, I, I'm not great at math, but how much is 34 times 20? Alexa, how much is 34 times 20? 34 times 20 is 680. So 680 people. Hopefully I didn't just make y'all's echoes go off. I just thought about that, sorry. But 680 people. That's actually not bad. That's actually pretty reasonable. Okay, I mean, I can see how they got there. I'm not gonna beat them up too much. Okay, two more routes to go, y'all. Two more routes to go, and we are good. The the next route is now bigger buses, and they're in their transfer to transfer or station to station. Okay, so the first one's just gonna be transfer station to transfer station, and then back again. So boom. Then we'll hit up. Boom. Get my own there. Boom. And then University City or uh, Speedway District. It's hard. I can't see a lot of everything when it's like in this view. So there's that. Boom. Uh, so this first one will go to airport. This will be the airport one. This goes in here. And then it goes to the terminal. That's fine. It'd go there. Boom. And then it goes back. Boom. Cool, I just had to make sure it got there. Okay, back to Overland Valley. And then ending University City. So then we'll call this the AA. Airport. Now this one I anticipate being really big. So we might utilize the bigger bus here. They might get a little nuts on this. I'm scared. I'm scared, y'all. Let's see how many. 83. See, I mean, it makes sense though. It does make sense that that bus will be, I feel like these stops will be pretty crazy. So we can go ahead and decrease 86 of them. But I can see us keeping 20, 25. And then we'll monitor it. We'll monitor it for the next few episodes and make sure that the demand is is up to, you know, like if we need to increase the budget, we definitely can. Yeah, somebody's already waiting. This I, I feel like this this route would be popular. So and we actually don't need any more. Like we don't need I don't need any more bus like help at all. I don't think I do. Because okay, yeah. Because if we have that, that that actually hits everything. It hits everything. And if you don't need to go to the airport, you're still chilling. You're still fine. So I think we're good. We have everything covered. Uh, Candy Oil Company's covered. Um, Gannett over here is covered. The prison, the airport. The main bus goes to the airport. So yeah, I think we're doing good. We're going to check in next episode, potentially, on everything. We might do like a quick little up, update stream. Actually, let's do that. Let's do a stream and check on everything. I'm committing to a stream next week. So make sure you guys are up on that. Again, I'm trying to do twice a week. I always say that. And so I've been keeping it to myself and just doing it. 
instead of like trying to speak it into existence and so just trying to be a little bit more accountable to the hashtag candy fam so all right guys if you man you made it this is one of our longest episodes of the series so if you made it thus far let me know down below what you think give me suggestions questions comments all that uh, make sure you like the video. It helps the algorithm get me suggested. My channel's in like a super weird state. Got a bunch of subscribers, but not a lot of people watch it. So it means the world to me that you guys are here to hang out. That would do it for this episode. Enjoy some bus cinematics. We're just going to be chilling, watching buses over some chill music. Turn your TVs up, your phones up, and sit back and enjoy. Peace.